How's it going, people? Uh. Chapter 23 of the Book of Mosiah. It doesn't start with a drink, but I should probably get ready. Because when it does, it's going to be devastating, folks. That's why I'm drinking beer. But I got my crappy bottle opener. There we go. Spring Blonde Weed Ale. It's a seasonal, so hurry up and get some if you want to try it. I've never tried it, but I know it's going to be good. I have faith. Now Alma, oh yeah, I should point that out, uh, we've switched to a different timeline. Uh, we just got this one's timeline set up, you know, we did the flashback, got back to the present tense, present past. Now we're in a different land, and we're hearing a different story. This Now we're following Alma and those bad priests uh, of Noah, those kidnapping uh, fucktards with jungle fever. Now Alma, having been warned of the Lord that the armies of King Noah would come upon them, and having made it known to his people, Therefore they gathered together their flocks and took of their grain and departed into the wilderness before the armies of King Noah. See, King Noah was killed a couple of chapters ago. He got roasted. And his priests are on the run. And Limhi is king now. So obviously we're doing some kind of a Tarantino timeline. The only difference is they're not good at it. <laughs> Nor are they entertaining. And the Lord did strengthen them that the people of King Noah could not overtake them and to destroy them. See, uh, God gave them extra extra stamina. Just like those athletes, you know, crying. I love you, Jesus! Thank you for letting me win the gold. Those other guys weren't praying to you hard enough. See, God gets the credit, but he's got the devil to give the blame to. That's why he made him, his shadow self. They're both pretty proud. And they fled eight days' journey into the wilderness. Isn't that how far Lehi and Nephi and the, when they left Jerusalem, didn't they go eight days' journey into the wilderness? Or... Am I wrong? I don't want to go back and look, but it's uh, documented on video. I think they're using the same template again. Just more Exodus retreaded. And they came to a land. Yay! Even a very beautiful and pleasant land. A land of pure water. I know this must be a translator error, right? If it's of pure water, it can't be land. And if you're talking about the land, it's submerged. Or, what is this, Atlantis? <laughs> I know, I'm being pedantic, but it isn't fun. And they pitched their tents and began to till the ground and began to build buildings. That's how they happened. That's why they call them that. Yay! They were industrious and did labor exceedingly. And the people were desirous that Alma should be their king, for he was beloved of all his people. But he said unto them, Behold, it is not expedient that we should have a king, for thus said the Lord, Ye shall not esteem one flesh above another. Or one man shall not think himself above another. 
Therefore I say unto you, it is not expedient that ye should have a king. Because Brigham Young hasn't been born yet. But remember the iniquity of King Noah and his priests? And I myself was caught up in a snare and did many things which were abominable. I've been drinking to that too since I did a game. An abominable drinking game because there was nothing coming to pass. Oh, wow. Nice and hopsy. In the sight of the Lord, abominable, which caused me sore repentance. Nevertheless, after much tribulation, the Lord did hear my cries and did answer my prayers and has made me an instrument in his hands. So you're a tool. I thought so. You're a real tool. You're an instrument, Fiat. <laughs> in the, his hands, uncapitalized his, by the way, still, in uh, bringing so many of you to a knowledge of his truth. I notice they say his truth, but not the truth. Seems to be there's all kinds of truths out there. Just most of them aren't true, that's all. Nevertheless! God, I could kill myself with nevertheless if I drank to that. And yay. Nevertheless, yay. Ooh. I, I shudder to think. Uh, we'll save that one for the frat houses. <laughs> nevertheless, in this I do not glory, for I am unworthy to glory in myself. You pretest too. And now I say unto you, ye have been oppressed by King Noah, and have been in bondage to him and his priests, get used to that, the latter part, and have been brought into iniquity by them. Uh, therefore ye were bound with the bands of iniquity. And now, as ye have been delivered by the power of God out of these bonds, even out of the hands of King Noah and his people, and also from the bonds of iniquity, even so I desire that ye should stand fast in this liberty. This is such a democratic sounding book. Even so, I desire that ye should stand fast in this liberty. <laughs> stand fast in this liberty, wherefore, wherewith ye have been made free. That's what liberty is, free. Liberty has made you free. Are we looking at another oxymormon? Not copyrighted. I'm not Martin Sheen. Anyone can use it. <laughs> I'm not a genius. Oh shit, I'm gonna get these DMCA for that. Uh, trust no man to be a king over you. Also trust no one to be your teacher nor your minister. Now that would be a perfectly rational statement, but it, it doesn't end in the, in the comma. Here comes the but. Except he be a man of God walking in his ways and keeping his commandments according to whom. Thus did Alma teach his people that every man should love his neighbor as himself. I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, what if you got some creepy bachelor with a big porn collection? He's going to love you like he's been loving himself? <laughs> I'm being too liberal. I know. But here's the point. Love your neighbor. Didn't Jesus say also love your enemy? And you guys got Christianity before everybody else? Didn't want to cherry pick that one, huh? Love your enemy. Like a neighbor. A good neighbor. <sighs> that there should be no contention among them. 
since they're a tight-knit community, and everybody's a neighbor, they just don't like those outsiders very much. And now, Alma was their high priest, even better than being a king sometimes. He's Merlin instead of Arthur. He being the founder of their church, so he's kind of like their first pope. And it came to pass that none received authority to preach or to teach. I love how they got all these little rhyme schemes in here. It's like Tyndall was, uh, <laughs> Tyndall's been, uh, uh, translated this too or something. Consider the lilies and all that shit. I do all the time, but what does it mean? <laughs> yeah, nobody, uh, uh, we're allowed to preach or teach, except it were by him, that's Alma, from God. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Therefore, he consecrated all their priests. It's nice, it's good to be Moses. All And all their teachers and none were consecrated except they were just men, as in justified, by Alma. Therefore, they did watch over their people, and did nourish them with things pertaining to righteousness. Excuse me. And it came to pass that they began to prosper exceedingly in the land. And they called the land Helam. Excuse me. Mighty fine. Pure delight. <coughs> and it came to pass that they did... They did multiply and prosper exceedingly in the land of Elam. Yes, that was in 19 and it's also in 20. It's a doublet. 19 and 20 of chapter 23 of Mosiah are almost the same. Except there's a little more because they got a, a semicolon. Uh, exceedingly in the land of Elam. And they built a city which they called the city of Elam. Nevertheless, the Lord seeth fit to chasten his people. Yea, yay. he trieth their patience and their faith. That's verse 21. And you got that right. You ain't shit, Sherlock. Nevertheless, whosoever putteth his trust in him, the same shall be lifted up on the last day. They guarantee that. Just ask that, that old guy with a sign who's all over my town and running out of time. One day we're going to see that sign leaning against his chair and he'll be gone. Um, yay! Yay! And thus it was with this people. For behold, I will show unto you that they are brought into bondage, and none could deliver them out, uh, deliver them but the Lord their God. Yea, even the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. What this, he's trying to say is they're all the same God, not that this God was better than those. It's same God, just bad writing. I can see why Joseph Smith doesn't claim this. He just translated this shit. Uh, and it came to pass that, uh, that he did deliver them, and he did show forth his mighty power, finally, unto them. And great were their rejoicings, because they don't know what he's got in store for them. 
Where's this iniquity that they that they're supposed to be doing? Because I can already tell they're they're lowering the boom. Yeah, testing their faith, trying their patience. For behold, right after the this first twenty four, where they're all ending in rejoicings, it's twenty five goes. For behold, and it almost sounds like this is connected, but they almost needed to put a blank space there, because it's a whole new narrative. <sighs> For behold, it came to pass that while they were in the land of Helam, in the city of Helam, <laughs> while tilling the land round about in the field of Helam, just kidding. <laughs> Behold, an army of the Lamanites was in the borders of the land. You dick! What was that for? Oh, that's right. Testing, testing, testing. Always testing. Son of a bitch. There it is. low. And now it came to pass, uh, and this came to pass too, uh, that the brethren of Alma fled from their fields and gathered themselves together in the city of Helam. And they were much frightened because of the appearance of the Lamanites. Circle the wagons. It's the Alamo. But Alma went forth and stood among them and exhorted them that they should not be frightened. It's all part of the plan. But that they should remember the Lord their God and He would deliver them. Let's see how well He does. I mean, how long it takes Him, how it really happens, how miraculous it turns out. We'll see. I think it's in the next chapter, which I might do next, after I put this one up. Yeah. Therefore they hushed their fears, how do you do that? And began to cry unto the Lord that he would soften the hearts of the Lamanites, that they would spare them and their wives and their children willing to give everything up if you just let them live. <sighs> wow, from rejoicing in that. And it came to pass that the Lord did soften the hearts of the Lamanites. I wonder how much. And Alma and his brethren went forth and delivered themselves up into their hands. We surrender. Oh. Yeah, they put themselves in their hands, and the Lamanites took possession of the land of Helam without firing a shot. But everybody gets to live. And that's all that counts, even if it isn't happily ever after. There must have been some iniquity unmentioned. Now the armies of the Lamanites, which had followed after the people of King Limhi, had been lost in the wilderness for many days. Ah, oh, wave the fuck back there. I remember that. So, we're continuing narratives. Huh. Might work as a movie, but not as a book. <laughs> And behold, 
they found those priests of King Noah in the place which they called Amulon. So we got two new kingdoms right here. Helam and Amulon. Keep keep track, man. Uh, I don't... I can't find them on these maps, though. You know. Covering up the original uh, owner's name. <laughs> Oops. I just closed the book on myself. God. You know, it's like when I'm in the mood to get drunk, I actually do it too easy. <laughs> been lost in the wilderness many days. And behold, they had found those priests of King Noah in the place called Amulet, and they had begun to possess the land of Amulet, and had begun to till the ground. Boy, you guys are big into plowing. <laughs> now the name of the, of the leader of those priests was Amulet. It's good to be the priest, head priest. Fuck being king. Powers in being a priest. And it came to pass that Amulin did plead with the Lamanites. <laughs> and he also sent forth their wives, who were the daughters of the Lamanites, the ones they kidnapped and raped, or forced to marry him, and, and whatever to plead for their with their brethren yeah send the kidnap sisters to plead with their brothers I know he's a rapist but he's my rapist <laughs> I now pronounce you rapist and wife <laughs> may he live happily ever after that they should not destroy their husbands and the Lamanites had compassion on Amulon. Bullshit! That would never happen. I mean, anything's possible, I guess. Unlikely. Let's see. Primitive, savage, lawless people. You kidnap and rape their daughters and impregnate them, and you're a different species in a primitive time, the way they looked at the world. Not the way I see it. What I'm saying is, there's this big stigma here. And they just wrote that rule. And since Lamanites turn white in this book, did they turn these Lamanite daughters into honkies? It doesn't say. I don't think. I don't remember. But we'll get to that. Uh, yeah, and the Lamanites had compassion on Amulin. Bullshit. Uh, and his brethren and did not destroy them because of their wives who don't want to be widows now that they have been ruined <laughs> and Amulin and his brethren did not join the Lamanites I guess the best example I could give is like have you ever read any Larry McMurtry where white women are taken off by Indians and and they're committing suicide when they're being forced to come back because they realize they could be happy with the Indians. But if they go back to the white society, they're considered ruined. That's all. That's what I meant. And Amulet and his brethren did join the Lamanites' turncoats. And once you go black, you don't go back, I hear. Although I tried that and I went back. I, I didn't notice much difference. Uh, yeah, they joined the Lamanites. I'll bet they did. They're coming with us. And they were traveling in the wilderness in search of the land of Nephi, because they're lost. Can't find their way back. When they discovered the land of Helam. Oh shit. Thanks, God. What was the point of that? Oh, that's right, more testing. Things were getting boring. So let's shake the little ant uh, farm you got. Watch them die in cave-ins and, and then fitfully try to rebuild and rescue their... That's fun, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Helam, which was possessed by Alma and his brethren, 
who must have committed some iniquity at some point. Maybe that, maybe that's, uh, Alma's still not completely forgiven, and here's his punishment. And, uh... that the Lamanites promised unto Alma uh, and his brethren that if they would show them the way which led to the land of Nephi that they would grant unto them their lives and their liberty. And after Alma had shown them the way that led to the land of Nephi the Lamanites would not keep their promise. Ugh. But they set guards round about the land of Helam over Alma and his brethren. And the remainder of them went into the land went to the land of Nephi, and a part of them returned to the land of Helam. And also with them the wives and the children of the guards who had been left in the land. And the king of the Lamanites had granted unto Amulon, the rapist, kidnapper who uh i mean helsinki syndrome you know i mean their wives are pleading for him <laughs> yeah not only did he not kill him and torture him but he's gonna give him power sort of he just realized hey, this guy is complete slime he'll work for anyone i just watch him close that's all don't give him too much authority and the king of the Lamanites had granted un unto Amulon that he should be a king and a ruler over his people. Pretty convincing. <sighs> Who were in the land of Helam. So it's his kingdom now. Well, Alma didn't want to be king and they weren't going to pick a king. You got a king now. God likes kings, apparently. I mean, his son's the king of kings. Then again, his son is him. And he's his son. And, and a ghost. And a bunch of other shit. And a bunch of shit. Uh, nevertheless, he should have no power to do anything contrary to the will of the king of the Lamanites. I don't think you have much to worry about. That's the end of that one. I'll see you guys in the next thrilling, or not so thrilling, chapter of this gold-plated piece of shit. Peace. The fuck. Out. Have a wonderful... Whatever the fuck it is, you might be having.